Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in today. If you're watching this video, chances are you want to learn how to style a console table. My name is Felicia Lazelle, and if you want to see how I style this beautiful console table in the entryway of my home, keep watching. So here I am in the entryway of my home. It's not really a foyer, it's really an entryway. And I have anchored the entryway with this beautiful console. This console I picked up at Home Goods. Um, it needed a little work because it had, had some tough love. <laughs> it was regularly retailing for $6.99. They had it marked down to $2.50 because of the damage. It had a few scratches and nicks and some broken glass, but that's an easy fix. You don't always have to pay a lot of money for good quality pieces. Because I have a good relationship, don't tell my husband that, I visit there often. I have a good relationship with the store manager at Home Goods in Dunwoody, and so he was able to give me an extra $50 off. So I got this piece for $199.99. When you're styling a console table in the foyer or entryway of your home, you really want to give your guests a sneak peek of what's to come in your design in your home. So my home design is kind of modern, understated glam. Um, so the pieces that I picked up are glam, they're kind of tribal, I like a lot of texture and movement, and I love um, Asian design as well. Every element that I've picked to style this console table with has some of my design aesthetic. It was so important that I had a lamp in this space. And I found this lamp at Home Goods. It was a frosted glass lamp. It was on clearance for $19.99. Also in a foyer, you want a place to keep your keys, your mail, your wallet, any other items that you use frequently. I thought this hand was amazing. It was so fun and quirky. And I found that at Z Gallery. Also because my console is not up against a wall, it's up against a stairway. Um, I couldn't do a mirror, which always looks amazing over consoles, but I opted for this leaning artwork instead. And then you must always include coffee table books in your vignette. They were perfect for adding height for my food dog to sit on. I love him, he's so cute. beautiful crystal, gilded crystal, and my favorite color, purple. And then we added some linear dimension and texture with the driftwood. And that crystal was so important to me that I think it needed its own spotlight. So I've added that glass bell jar. I think it just really added a nice touch. And of course, it has to be perfect. Voila. Somebody's proud. That's it guys, it's that simple. Don't make it rocket science. It's not rocket science. I didn't go to school for rocket science, okay? Actually, I didn't go to school for interior design either, but you know, that's a different story. <laughs> All you have to do is find elements that you love, that express your personal style, your, your design aesthetic, and a little bit of quirkiness. Like, I've got some kind of quirky pieces here, but I love them and it's what makes me me, and people who will see this entryway will know what is to come in the rest of the house. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in today. I hope this helped. I'm thinking about possibly making it a series because there are other ways that you can style console tables as well. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take five.